Well, how do you respond when your teacher constantly pronounces your name wrong or assumes that because you wear a headscarf, you won't want to join in certain activities? A teacher turned spoken word artist has written a book to tackle just this. Jaspreet Kaur says she wants to shatter stereotypes for brown girls growing up in Britain. Our correspondent, Darshna Sonny, went along to meet the author and a group of schoolgirls from East London to hear their experiences. For those that made my gender feel inadequate, I will no longer be left on mute, quiet and cute. A poem for all the times they never put their hand up in class. Even though I knew the answer, Teacher turned spoken word artist Jaspreet Kaur wants to shatter the stereotypes for girls growing up brown in Britain. You may be the smartest in the room, but maybe that room doesn't let you bloom. She's written a book described as part memoir, part manifesto, to inspire the next generation. We've brought her back to her old school in Ilford, Beale High, to speak to some students about their experiences. Do you think people make assumptions about you, Khadija, because you wear the headscarf? They think that I can't do things like, oh, you wear a headscarf, you sit in the back, you be quiet, but really that's not who I am. I feel myself being a quite an outgoing person and I like to speak my opinion. And I think that because I wear a headscarf, it shouldn't limit that. When you see me, you see my headscarf, but it doesn't define me. The author tackles taboos, from menstruation to mental health, relationships to racism. When you say my name, Say it whole for me, because I'm tired of only being half of me so that the other kids wouldn't laugh at me. And really kind of unpacking some of the things we have to deal with on a daily basis, these kind of microaggressions, things like people having assumptions about how we dress, how we have to act, and even things about our names and mispronouncing our names incorrectly. I've had that, I've had people who can't pronounce my name, especially growing up, and I remember how embarrassing it was when you're constantly correcting people. So I was just interested in the experiences that you girls have had with your name. So my name is Saliha. It comes from an Islamic background and... Um, so it's got a special meaning? Yeah, it's, it, means, uh, it means pious, so someone who kind of like devotes themselves to God. In primary school, I remember a few of my teachers, they didn't know how to say it. So they just say, can I call you Sally? And I used to just let them do it. I remember when I was little, um, my teachers used to call me Salia without the H, and I was really like a thing, and I would let it happen. It's not just perceptions of Asian girls from outside, but from inside their own communities. Jaspreet grew up in Ilford in East London, a predominantly Asian area. She draws on her own experiences of suffering from anxiety, but being unable to talk about it. A lot of stigma still attached to mental health issues at that time. You would hear all these kind of slurs and taboos about how Asian girls are never going to get married if they've got mental health issues. Nobody would want to marry nobody you. Would want to get to, yeah, <laughs> nobody would want to marry you. The poet says things are changing for the better across communities and across generations. We've come to meet her mum, who tells me some of the stereotypes she's had to confront. I was only 18 years old, so my parents, they fixed my marriage. So they didn't expect you to get a job or a career? Uh, no, no. They didn't think I can study a bit more, learn something more here, I can do proper job. Mrs Sanger says she's proud that all of her children, Mary, including the girls, are in professional one. jobs. Yeah. Although she admits she yeah. was at first unsure about Jaspreet's job. Were you quite nervous when you had to tell your mum that you wanted to be a poet? Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was thinking she can do dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> that is a typical yeah, Asian typical mom. Indian My mom, mom was yeah, the same. I know that. <laughs> she always say, Mom, yeah, we need people, doctor, dentist. Snapping stereotypes and breaking barriers. <laughs> Big smile. Jaspreet hopes her book will educate and inspire all generations.